just to clear some things up. It's not a wig. My biggest hair inspirations come from Axl Rose. I just love how absolutely soft his hair looks. I love the color of it as well. I was a redhead for a little bit and that did not really suit me well. I really love all the texture that the 80s hair metal bands have. Like we're talking like Bon Jovi with the huge hair, all the layers, the texture. I really love Sebastian Bach's hair. His hair is just always so on point. I like how in all the pictures his hair just looks tousled. It doesn't look like it's been professionally done at all when it probably was behind the scenes with hairspray. That style of late 80s, early 90s, a little bit of Lost Boys in there, a little bit of, you know, the stat from Interview with a Vampire. We're going for effortless 80s hairstyle that requires a lot of effort. That effortless effort look. So starting with clean hair, I wash my hair once a week. I use the All Soft Redken Shampoo and Conditioner. People always ask what shampoo and conditioner that I use. I finally found like my favorite shampoo and conditioner and it is the Redken All Soft. Not sponsored at all. Believe me, I wish Believe me, I wish Redken would sponsor me. I use the All Soft Redken Shampoo and Conditioner and the Redken Bonder as well. I used to use the Olaplex because everyone was using the Olaplex, but then my hairdresser told me to stop using it because it was leaving a residue in my hair that wouldn't wash out. So as a processed blonde, I do need to have a lot of moisturizing elements added to my hair. And for like a good deep conditioning hair mask, I like to use the It's a 10 Miracle mask. It is so silky and soft and it is a higher budget item, but it is absolutely worth it. it. I gotta keep things moisturized. Styling, I like to blow dry my hair upside down and I always tell people blow dry your hair upside down. The hair dryer that I use is just a basic Conair hair dryer. People always ask what hair dryer that I use and I always dry my hair upside down. And then once it's all dried, I like to clip up the top of my hair. I need to explain this correctly. <laughs> once my hair is all dried, I like to clip it up on the top of my head, leaving the hair loose around my face. You don't want like a tight, like clip in action. You want kind of your hair around your face to be a lot more on the looser side. Like only the top should be secure. I hope that makes sense. Hopefully you can see it and understand it that way. I'm sorry if it's not going through. This is just what makes sense to me, I guess. I like to blow dry just the perimeters around my face, just on my roots so they stay up. It's all about the volume. We're all going for volume now. So I have my hair sectioned off half up, half down, and then I'm gonna start doing the bottom half. My hair texture is pretty straight already. I just have a lot of like waviness around my face and on the ends of my hair because it was up in a clip. And I wanna try to straighten out those areas. So I'm gonna take the ends of my hair and just, I like to use a comb so I can make sure that they get as sleek and straight as possible. And I just take this very basic white Conair flat iron and I just go to the ends of my hair and straighten those sections out. Now let's do the other side. I always miss like a little strand right there. Straighten it just like that. And that's just what I do to get more of a sleeker end look. Now I'm going to start adding the curl effect. So this is hard to explain, but I just grab like a back piece of this section of hair and that's how I separate it. Now I have two sections. I only curl it about halfway. I stop it where I started straightening it. I had this little basic, I want to say a Conair curling iron. And I just start curling that, but I don't curl the ends. That is very important. I personally just don't like curly ends. I think it looks a little too, like, juvenile. It doesn't look natural to me. All right, there we go. Now we have, like, a little bit of a wave and then my straighter ends. Put that in the back. 
Then I just grabbed the front piece of that section and then I curled that as well. Same exact way, only halfway, don't curl the ends. And it should look something like this. Just slightly wavy, straighter ends. And then I forgot to do this, but I'm just going to take the flat iron and just smooth out any wavy, curly pieces that I have around my face because I hate that. My sideburn area gets very, very curly. Now I'm going to do the same to the other side. All right, this is what the hair should look like now. Just like slightly wavy with straighter ends. Now I'm going to take the top half of my hair and I'm just going to grab my curling iron and curl the end all the way to the end of my hair. As you can see, I'm not curling my entire hair from the root. I'm only doing like the half end of my hair. I just uncurl that carefully. And then while my hair is still, oops, my hair is too clean to do this. And while my hair is still sectioned off like this, I have to dirty it up again. I'm going to take some texturing powder. I have this one from Sexy Big Hair. It's called Powder Play. It's a little interesting. It's not the one that I'm used to using. I love to use the one. It's by this brand called Evu, Evu, it's called Haze. I love that texturing powder. It's really good. It adds that volume so I don't have to tease anything. So this is like my teaseless 80s hairstyle video. So I'm just going to take this texturing powder like this. This does have a little bit of a wetness to it, but it dries down. So just be aware of that. I was not aware of it and it freaked me out for a second. So I'm just going to take this and just powder it. Where I have it sectioned off. Right there. I'm going to take it and powder the other side as well. <laughs> this looks so weird. There you go. Oof, powder everywhere. Now I'm going to just swoop my hair back. And then start running my fingers through it. I'm going to start working in that powder into the roots on my scalp. And I can feel it like getting harder to move my fingers through it. And that's kind of what you want it to do. Oh my god, from this angle you can really tell how bad my roots are. <laughs> Getting my hair done in a week. Then I'm just going to flip over, flip back over. Then while my hair is still swooped back like this, I'm going to take some hairspray. I have this one by Tresemme. It's the extra hold hairspray. And I'm just going to spray the top of my hair. Like so. I want to make sure that this has no parts in it. All right, then I'm gonna put my hand on the back of my head. It's a little weird. And then I start pushing my hair forward. Then I spray it again. Then I'm just gonna take a teasing comb. I'm not gonna use the comb or to tease it. I'm just going to use it to clean up the front area and how I want it combed. Any loose hairs that might have fallen. I'm just going to spray that. Then while, my hand, then while my hand is still in the back of my head, I'm going to move this side of my hair forward. Work that texturing powder right there. Then kind of push it forward like this. Hairspray it. Like so. Then just move this section forward. Make sure it's textured. Yeah, and 
there you go as you can see like i have those wings that i'm always looking for i always like my hair to be wide this way as well as taller that way when it's taller and then it's like not as wide it looks more like a mullet like a joe dirt situation but when it's like this it gives off that like 80s rock star realness it looks tousled it looks like i didn't do too much to it when really i used two heating tools hairspray texturing powder hair dryer all that stuff and this is the finished look back of my head is probably not as glamorous as the front but you know it's okay <laughs> And I really recommend texturing powder. I used to tease my hair quite a bit before I started using texturing powder and I had a lot of breakage on the sides, like a lot of like heavy breakage on the sides as well as on the top. But texturing powder has literally changed my life when it comes to wanting that voluminous big 80s hair look. So if you're interested in getting some texturing powder, I really, really recommend it. This one again is the Powder and Play by sexy hair i really like this one but my favorite one is definitely the one by evu it is called haze it is so good it does not have a wetness to it this does however have like a dampness to it i think it's because it's to activate the root lift to push the hair up so that's probably why it does that i don't know the science behind it that's just what it does but i hope you guys enjoyed this little Hair tutorial it's nothing too crazy or extreme people always ask how i do my hair so i figured i just put it on here for people to see if you're looking for like a little 80s va va boom hairstyle then i recommend this one <laughs> thanks for watching today's video and i'll see you guys later bye bye later hater <laughs>